So a number of you have been asking what happened to the bot grubs that stuck in the dirt. Well I went under the sink and pulled out the jar of dirt and surprise surprise that one didn't do anything and that one didn't do anything but look at there it would appear that a fly and I just knocked the stand over seems a long ways away. <clears throat> so let's flip it over. So there's the dried up <coughs> bot fly. Focus up close. Come on focus. Come on focus. So that's what a bot fly looks like. About the size of a common bumblebee. Let's see. Here's a dried up bot grub. Here's the husk. It's full of dirt now. And that pesky yellow jacket. Stop stealing my science experiment. Look, there's an ant already there. It must smell good to the critters. Something's eating me alive. So let's see <clears throat> if we can cut open this guy. Oh, it's just as hard as a rock. Get out of here. I thought about getting some nitrile gloves and putting them on to satisfy all of the people who are like, oh, gross. And then I was like, nah. Oh, that's crispy. Here's the rotten insides. if it started to pupate. Alright, so pinning it down with a needle is not effective. Oh. Keep bumping my stand. It's just some rusty baling wire. Well, there's some development 
you can see some legs started. So that's the back side of it. There's the beginnings of legs. And I don't know what that white thing coming out the back is. Could be fungus, should could be another parasite worm. Could be part of the bug. Yeah, I thought this experiment would be a failure. I mean, not that any experiment is actually a failure. You just get results other than what you expected. Should we break open this one too? Nothing in there. Well, there was something in there, but... It's all rather dried up now. So that's what became of those three bot grubs that we cut out. One hatched and got stuck in the jar. And uh, the other two never made it past their, I don't know, pupa life cycle or something. But now we have a new mystery. <clears throat> what does that tail belong to? Obviously, it was very tasty because the cat only left that tail and a pile of guts beside the bed, which I got to step into one dark morning. And then there's this tail, same sort of critter, real fluffy, not a, uh, not a pine squirrel from around here. Could be a flying squirrel. I don't know if it's naturally flat or if that's the result of laying on the ground before I found it. So this one, luckily, was not by my bed. So we'll have to keep our eyes out and see if we can catch, catch it before it gets eaten. And that's the uh, bot grub update.